Hello and welcome to our introduction of GBIF Extinct, an exploration tool for GBIF data. GBIF Extinct is a standalone tool, but additionally we offer a publicly available, user-friendly web interface. To access the web interface, simply type www.gbif-last-observation.com into your browser. This tool allows users to search for the latest observations or occurrence of taxa across different countries based on GBIF data. We created this analysis tool because it's currently not straightforward to access this data on GBIF. Our tool provides a valuable contribution to the field of biodiversity research by providing a user-friendly and versatile platform for exploring GBIF data, potentially leading to the identification of forgotten, forgotten taxa and promoting a deeper understanding of global biodiversity patterns. On the home page, you'll find a simple filter interface and a table below it. In the table, you can see the taxon name, the country of observation, and the date of the latest occurrence in GBIF. The year column shows how many years ago this observation was made. The last fetched column indicates the most recent database update on our site, along with additional taxonomy details. Let's demonstrate the filter capabilities. You can search directly for a species, filter by a single country, or filter data based on a specific taxonomic rank. For example, if you're interested in ants, select Taxa Rank Family and search for Formicide. As you can see, our database contains around 15,000 taxa and more than 30,000 observations. If you want to narrow it down to ants in Austria, add the country filter. Note that the filter supports only ISO standard two-letter codes and for Austria it's AT. Now we see that our database contains 160 taxa with the oldest or last seen observation being Aphenogaster subterranoides. Clicking on the name takes you to the GBIF species page. Clicking on the observation date takes you to the GBIF occurrence page, where you can check more details. In our case, we see that this specimen is a syntype for the species. The tool is not exhaustive for life, so you might search for a taxon that isn't our, in our database yet. To demonstrate this, Let's clear our filter by clicking the clear button. Now search for Aula Corunthius in the species field. The results show multiple entries for species with the genus Aula Corunthius and others with the epithet. Here we see Aula Corinthus Wagleri, the Wagler's toucanet, endemic to southwestern Mexico. It's currently not in our database because occurrence checks are run at random. We can manually fetch the data for this species by clicking on the last fetched field, which currently says not yet. It takes a little time, as the tool needs to search and filter occurrences from GBIF. But now we see results for the Wagler's toucanet. You can also filter for synonyms by clicking the synonyms checkbox. A new column will be added showing the species name that the synonyms stand for. Keep in mind that this may cause a slight delay in your queries due to the large number of synonyms. Lastly, you can download your filtered results by clicking the download button. This will download a CSV file with your current filters applied. The selected filters are also present in the URL, allowing you to share it or save it for later reference. At the bottom of the page, you'll find various links. The About link takes you to the README explaining the project and some caveats, like that we do not filter for data quality. It also shows the current setup at the bottom, indicating that every 300 seconds our service checks a random set of 25 taxa. The next link is the GitHub page. 
The entire code is open source and written in Golang. You can download it and run it on your machine or use the Docker container, which is automatically published to Docker Hub. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for watching.